Hey folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Monday, June 22nd, 2015. Take a look at this chart on AMBA, Ambarella. Unbelievable drop today of about 17 to 18%. That continues to collapse. This is one of those high flyers that was destined to collapse. We talked about it to members quite a bit. Uh, I want to show you the daily chart and just show you how extended it is, and then we'll talk about where it's going to bounce. I actually, just going into it right now, I actually think a large bounce back above 100 is going to occur intraday here, but ultimately I want to show you some daily levels. So first off, notice the extension move here. Right? This was kind of a no-brainer. It was going to pull back and pull back sharply. Reason why you knew that look at when it was at the 20 moving average all right so it right along the 20 then it took off and it hasn't touched the 20 ma now since really mid-may even early may all right whenever stock goes away for that long a period of time especially with such a vertical move whenever it pulls back it's going to have a major exodus meaning it's going to drop quite a bit and we're seeing that over the last two trading days on the daily chart here but again look at that move up ridiculous right and not only that but i mean you, if, if this stock was at 52 weekly lows before this move i wouldn't be that astounded or that surprised uh well not a surprise at all but bottom line is the key is look at the move here i mean you could go back to you know 2014 early 2014 and that's when the move started so this is what we call a blow off top all right. Again, you've probably heard that term before, blow off top. And that just basically means that at the very end of a move, that's where it goes vertical the most. Because what you're seeing is a lot of amateurs are chasing the name. All right, they're thinking, oh, I can't lose. It's gone up for years now, and at this stage of the game, I just got to pile in because I'm missing the boat. Well, that's the exact signal of a top, right? Because when the average John Smith does that or, or Joe Schmo does that, it's going to ultimately be the end of the move because who's left to buy after the average dude, all right? If you think about the sequence of events, the pros buy first with the institutions, then the middle-level guys, and then ultimately the amateurs are last, right? I mean, that's just the way the market works every single time. So in theory, if the amateurs are buying on this run up here right at the end who's left to buy i mean tell me who's left to buy no one right i mean everyone got in and now what you're seeing up here is the institutions and the pros unload and that's why we talked about this to our members about it being a great shorting opportunity and sure enough it has been an unbelievably great shorting opportunity now you might say all right well where do i buy it as a swing trade on a retrace i'm going to show you the level right now now there's plenty of day trades in this range folks but I want to show you this. I want you to take these low pivots and connect them. I mean, this is just an awesome, awesome technique here. Pivot high, pivot high, pivot high, pivot high, pivot high. And look at what happens right through this little level here, right there. So on a swing trade basis, if you're looking for a large bounce of 10 to $20, your buy price is going to be sub $90. Once it gets below 90, that is a humongous, humongous level. And you will see literally, I would say $15 bounce is pretty much, you know, nothing's a sure bet, but most likely a $15 bounce is something that you will see off of this level over probably two to three days only if it hits it. Now, granted, there's a chance it doesn't hit it, but I'm just giving you a level. If it does hit it, that is your level to be long the stock. All right. Um, in terms of a day trade, I actually like it here for an intraday bounce back above 100. Extremely oversold. Uh, eventually, the sellers will kind of get exhausted. I think you're starting to see that right here. See the reversal green candle here. So you get a red candle and then a reversal green. That's the first time that's happened. We've had two green candles over here, but they weren't reversal candles. For a candle to be a reversal, it must negate the previous red candle. Obviously, that didn't happen here, and you weren't at a new low on this one, so it couldn't have here. Here, you went to a new low and then reversed it, and then look at this. You sold off a little bit, and now starting to push up a little on this candlestick. So again, folks, this is key here. Um, on an intraday basis, you can probably be long right here and see this go back to 101, 102, maybe as high as 105 today, although I think 105 might be a stretch, but minimum back to 102 to 103. And then ultimately, if we see more selling tomorrow, look for that uh, sub-$90 level. That sub-90 is going to be really, really good. All right, guys, that's very interesting. That's a very, very interesting chart. Fun to look at these type of plays. This is where you make a lot of money, folks. All right, this is a play that we're in in the intraday stock chat, and uh, ultimately we're going to take a lot of money on this. So um, come join us, bottom line. Come join us. Take the seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat. Uh, if you can do day trading, if you're a swing trader, then the research center is for you. If you're into options, the options alerts are for you. Come join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com.